All right, so we're calculating the GDP using the income approach. All right, this is factoring all the income received by the citizens within a country. Right, the formula is the national income plus statistical adjustments. National income comprises of the profits earned by offering entrepreneurship, the rent earned by offering land, interest, this is the money earned for providing capital and wages. This is the amount earned for offering labor, right? Then we add the statistical adjustments, depreciation, sales taxes, right? Sales taxes include the value added tax. These are the taxes we consumers pay for whenever we purchase goods and services. And we also add in the net foreign factor income. The difference between the income earned by citizens in other countries minus the income earned by foreigners in this country. So we've got a chart here. The vast has calculated the GDP using the income approach. Right, so this is the formula we're using. So business profits, we have business profits, we highlight 108. Us, let's see, rent here, we have rent. Okay, 130. Us. We have any interest, yes, interest here. 111, wages and salaries. Seventy-six. And Consumer capital allowance, this is the depreciation. Eighty-four. Of sales taxes. Hundred and twenty. Then we have the net foreign factor income. Uh, that's one foot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we tabulate, we add up. So we start 108. Let me switch on my phone. 108 plus 130 plus 111 plus 76. Then plus 84 plus 120 plus 140. Just... Anyone with a calculator, I'm just switched off my phone. So I'm waiting for it to load. Okay. But if there's any on the calculator, you can just give us the value here. Okay, one zero eight plus. 
130 plus 111 plus 76. So national income, 425 billion, because this is in billions, right? Then plus depreciation, 84, plus uh, sales tax, 120, plus net foreign factor income, 140. So you get 769 billion quarter. So that is our GDP using the income approach.